Dabishi Slekum? Ken Kuya! Shilo Panive Baima? Hana Klet! Binfahab? Oh! <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tay and I have my sim self Tay and her fiance Dawn and they're actually here having their very first meeting with a wedding planner. I will be releasing the first episode of my sim self's new series, My Wedding Stories, very soon. So be sure to click the bell notification to ensure you get first dibs when I release new content. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you all of my hidden secrets to help you achieve a more aesthetically pleasing game. I'm going to be sharing my game settings, camera settings, lighting mods, reshade, default replacements, and other small mods that will make your game feel so much more elevated. I get a lot of questions regarding my game settings, so I am going to go over that. But first, I want to share with you a small tip that I learned from Simply Angida on Tumblr. You'll notice when you first load up the game, your Sims picture is at the top right here, and usually it is super pixelated and distorted. It kind of just looks like somebody smudged their thumbprint on the camera lens. <laughs> well, there's actually a small trick that you can do to get your picture looking super clear like it does here for me. You'll need to navigate to where your game is saved. If you have a Windows computer, it's usually in the C drive, in the program files, and then you should see Origin Games. Go to The Sims 4, go into your game folder, the bin folder, and then go into your res folder and you should see the thumbnail configuration file. First, I do recommend making a copy of this file just in case anything happens, you have a backup. You can just copy it and paste it onto your desktop and then open up the file. There's going to be a section called Simbust in here. I just like to hit Control F on my keyboard and search for Simbust and that should come up. By default, the size small is usually at 64 by 64, but if you amp that up to 256 by 256, your picture is going to look way more clear. All right, so now you are good to just go to file and click save. And then the very last step is for you to delete the local thumb cache file. This is usually in your documents folder, then electronic arts, the Sims 4, scroll down and you should see the local thumb catch file here. Just click it and delete it and then your game will generate a new one and you should be good to go. As far as my game settings, it's really simple. I literally have everything set to the highest possible setting. Also, make sure that you uncheck laptop mode. Even if you are playing on a laptop, uncheck it because it's not gonna do your game any justice. Oh, also, if you struggle with your game lagging, I highly recommend that you change the display type to full screen mode instead of windowed full screen. That just helps your computer have a higher frame rate and hopefully that helps with your lag. Side note, if you go into the audio section, I always disable the mood sting setting. That's the little noise that plays when your sim changes emotions. I just think it's so annoying to hear that little sound effect, especially when I'm trying to film an aesthetic intro or something. So definitely turn that off if that's something that frustrates you too. All right, so we are back in game and my Sims are sleeping. I have reversed the time so I can show you from the beginning all of the mods that can help your game look a little bit more like mine. Oh Lord, look at her. Not her stinking up the bed. <laughs> okay, well, let me show you this first mod and then sis gonna have to take a shower. Mm -mm, come on, Miss Funky, get up out the bed. Ooh, that's love. Look at him kissing her little forehead. <laughs> He's like, oh, what's that smell? <laughs> did Pumpkin Spice use the litter box? When did we get the litter box in the bedroom? <laughs> oh. Yes, girl, you stink. So right off the jump, you probably noticed that I do not have the plum bob above my sim, and that is because I have the missing plum bob mod by Mint Valentine, which removes the plum bob from above your sim's head. There's multiple versions of this mod. There's a smaller plum bob if you just want that instead, or for some reason, if you don't want to install that mod, you can also use this cheat by hitting Control Shift C on your keyboard and typing headline effects off. When you press enter, you'll see the headline effects are off and that plum bob will be removed. This cheat removes literally all headlines. So if I toggle over my sim, it's not gonna say anything over her head. If my sims are in a group, it's going to remove that little clear diamond that's above their head. And when you need to, you can hit Control Shift C again and type in headline effects on and turn it back on. 
And now you can see her details pop up when I scroll over her. Since I'm already on this topic, I thought I'd mention the hidden highlight mod. You know, when you usually put your cursor over the sim, it usually highlights their entire body. It does the same thing with objects. Well, this mod removes that. And I just think it's so much more aesthetically pleasing to have your sim just look regular. <laughs> All right, let's get Miss Girl in the shower. Let's go ahead and sing in the shower. This next mod is the smaller mosaic mod, which makes the blurred effect when your sim is nude a more reasonable size. I've had this mod in my game for a while, so I'm not sure if EA ever fixed this, but I specifically remember that the toddler's mosaic was literally so big that it covered their entire body, like you literally couldn't even see their face. So for that reason alone, I highly recommend this mod. I will mention though, if you have Wicked Whims installed and your sim wakes up with morning wood, you will indeed see his little thingy thing popping out of the mosaic because it is, well, smaller. <sighs> I learned this the hard way. Literally, doo -doo. I'm here all night, folks. All right, so next I will go into all of the lighting mods that I have installed in my game. I use a combination of four different lighting mods. The first I'll mention is the Sunblind Lighting Mod by Softer Haze. I know y'all saw that beautiful sunrise this morning. This mod makes your outdoor lighting so much more realistic. I'm telling you, this mod amped up my quality 1000%. You are going to fall in love with the sunrise and the sunset, I promise you. I don't wanna make this video super long, so I'm not gonna give a tutorial of how to install it, but I'll have the installation guide linked on the download page. The instructions are super clear. Just follow everything it says and you should be good. Okay, so the next couple of lighting mods that I have are by Litheraho. I use two of their mods, which are the Into the Light and Out of the Dark lighting mods. The Out of the Dark mod removes the blue tint that you usually get when the lighting is dim, and the Into the Light mod brightens up your sim's indoor environment. Another great option for a lighting mod is the No Blue and No Glow lighting mod from Luma. This mod essentially does the same thing, but the coloring is a bit different. Both of these are great alternatives though, especially if you're a Mac user and you can't get reshade. So right now I'm currently using Letheraho's Into the Light and Out of the Dark lighting mods. And this is what Luma's No Glow and No Blue mod looks like. I just really like that Letheraho's is a bit brighter. I don't know. It may look different depending on what reshade you're using. So try it out and see what works best for your gameplay. And the very last mod that I'm going to mention today is, of course, Reshade. Again, I'm not going to go into an installation tutorial, but I'll have a super informative video listed in the description if you're in need of one. I'm currently using the preset Serene, which is my personal preset, and I'm releasing this to download to the public. So if you're interested, I'll have that in the download links. This is what it looks like with my Reshade on, and this is what it looks like without. After you install Reshade, all you have to do is click this blue bar at the top. You should see Serene by Large Tater Tots in the list here, and then just hit select and it will apply your reshade. I didn't set up any shortcuts or anything like that because I just wasn't sure if that's something that the daily user uses when they play the game, you know? So if you're interested in turning on shortcuts, you can hit the right button of your mouse and then click to set and type any key on your keyboard and make that a shortcut to toggle it on and off. I specifically do this with the ADF, which is the depth of field that makes the background look blurred. If you don't want to set up a shortcut, you don't have have to you just have to click the box and then enable autofocus and everything should be set up for you already i also set up the cinematic dof um, i only use this on certain occasions though so do what you will with this but you can toggle that on i also have autofocus checked and i also have the use the mouse driven autofocus checked as well so that means basically you'll put your mouse over what you want in focus and it will focus it like i said i only use this on certain occasions but if that's something you're into you can definitely use this instead of a and I know you're probably wondering how do I get my screen to look the way it does like there's no UI at the bottom It just looks really clean and crisp like I'm taking a picture and that's because I use camera mode If you press the tab key on your keyboard You'll enter camera mode and it will remove all of the UI at the bottom I usually set up my ADF shortcut as the tab key because it's just more convenient whenever I'm entering camera mode Most likely I want ADF on you can move your mouse around and it will move the screen and then you can use the arrow 
photos to move back and forth, side to side. And then if you're worried about the angle, you can use Q and E on your keyboard to raise and lower the camera angle. You can also set up points of interest. I'm not sure if that's really what you call it, but that's what I'm gonna call it, okay? So if you hold down control and then press any number from five to nine on your keyboard, that will save a point of interest at that camera angle. And if you ever want to remove a point of interest, all you have to do is hold the alt button and press the number that you saved it to and it will remove it. I already have one at this spot. I saved it as five, but let's say that I want to create some type of cinematic intro where the camera angle is up top and it kind of slowly lowers down to the table. I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but I'm raising up the camera and ooh, let's get back in. Let's get back here. Let's say I want it to kind of go down and look at the camera. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna hold down control and save this as six. When I press five on my keyboard, it's gonna go right to that spot and look like this. As you can see, the ADF has kind of changed. You kind of have to play around with the angle to see what's gonna look best with the ADF. What you can also do, if you hold down shift and press the number, I'm gonna go back to six. It will take you directly to that number so you don't have to wait for the camera to slowly move. But let's say you want it to go even slower. If you hold down, the other number it will move at a slower pace so I'm just gonna hold down five and you see it's going a little bit slower so if you're new to using camera mode, odds are your camera settings are set to the default settings. I'm gonna share what I changed my settings to to work best for my recording style, but feel free to change it to whatever you'd like. If you're on a Windows computer, the path most likely starts with your C drive and then you're gonna go into your program files, go to Origin Games, The Sims 4, go down to game and then in your bin folder, click the res folder and then open the video camera file. If you scroll to the bottom of the document, you're going to see the default interpolator parameters. I believe by default, the interpolator type is easy in or easy out. It's one of those, I can't remember. There's three different settings that you can change it to. There's easy in, easy out and linear. And that basically just determines the camera speed when you're changing in between points of interest. You'll notice the camera will speed up and then slow down or slow down and then speed up or just be linear, which is what I have it as. I don't like the camera to speed up or slow down unless I'm specifically holding down that key on the keyboard and I want it to happen at that very moment. So I keep it at linear. And all you have to do is just double click and then type easy in or type easy out and it will change the setting. But I'm gonna keep mine at linear cause I'm not messing with it. And then I like my default interpolator time to be 20 seconds because I like it to move very slowly. But as you can see, I have five, six and seven on my keyboard saved as different points of interest. And sometimes I change the settings to different time spans just depending on what I'm recording at that moment. So you can always come in here and change it to something different or change it in between the two different points of interest. I highly recommend you mess around with this and figure out what works works for your gameplay or your recording or whatever you're using this for. But all you have to do next is hit save and close the document and open up your game and these settings will be your new settings. This next part is completely unrelated, but I'm sure it will interest some of you guys because when I figured out that I could do this, I was ecstatic, okay? So first off, I really love using the Sims 4 camera when I'm playing. I know some people hate the Sims 4 camera, they love the Sims 3 camera, and Honestly, I could see it. The Sims 3 camera, you can get way better angles and things like that, but I love being able to click and drag around the screen. So one day I was just in here messing around and I figured out that I can change that setting with the Sims 3 camera. If you open this camera document, you'll notice that it says click, drag, enabled true, and this is for your Sims 4 camera. Well, if you hit control F again and search for click drag, you're going to see that there is another click drag on this document and it's going to say false and that's because it's for the Sims 3 camera. Well, if you highlight that and change it to true, guess what? It's gonna enable that setting for you. Of course, just save the document and that setting will be saved when you open your game next. All right, so we are back in game and I just wanna show I am on the Sims 3 camera and we can like, you know, move around all the angles, do all that fun stuff, but the click and drag is now enabled so I can move around by clicking and dragging. I just love that feature. I've been playing with the sims 4 camera for like 10 years <laughs> so i i can't get used to it i don't like this i don't know i just feel like i don't have enough control but the click and drag gives me way more control i don't know but if that's something you're interested in i hope that helped you
Okay, next I'm gonna go into all of my default replacements that I have in game. And yes, I will admit that I do have a lot, but honestly, it's the little things that matter. So of course I do use skin details on all of my Sims, but I also have a skin default replacement. This one is called Vanilla and it's by Luma. What I love so much about this skin replacement is that it is so realistic, especially when showing age. So right now, Tate is a young adult, but check this out when she turns into an adult. As you can see on her forehead, there is now a little bit of wrinkle. Oof, and look at her as an elder. <laughs> okay, she a hot girl. Okay, just to show you some of the details, I have a randomly generated sim here and she only has on eyelashes and the default replacement skin. So as you can see, as an adult, she starts to get a little bit of wrinkles around her smile lines and on her forehead, and she has some emphasis underneath her eyes. Oh, and look at her as a little granny. <laughs> she looks so cute. And you can see like she has the, what is that called? In between the eyebrows, the something, the brow furrow, I forgot what it's called, but and her <laughs> eye bags are very prominent and she has very deep smile lines. Look at her neck, the details on her neck are so realistic. I love using the Gaia skin detail and if you put that on top, it kind of removes some of the emphasis. So you can play around with your skin details and use them in combination. Or if you really want your sim to look like, you know, they're 90 years old, we'll remove them and there you go, bam. I also use a default replacement for my eyes and I've been using the Whisper Eyes from Kelly HB5 for literally like as long as I can remember. It comes with 39 colors. This is the Daydreamin' Eye Replacement from Nolan Sims, and it is for cats, small dogs, and large dogs. The colors are just gorgeous, and I've stuck with this eye replacement ever since I found it. Since we're on the topic of eyes, I do want to mention that I do have this mod to remove the AA lashes because, let's be honest, those things are crusty as hell. I do use CC eyelashes instead, and my favorite thing to do is to add them on in the skin details category. My favorite eyelashes are from Dream Girl. Now, these may not be for everyone, but these are the type of eyelashes that I wear in real life, so <laughs> you can see why I gravitate towards them. If you're looking for something more natural, I recommend these lashes from Kijiko. There's so many different swatches. These are very natural looking, but they do have some longer versions and some thicker versions. A lot of creators do make lashes in the glasses category. I just, uh, I don't like lashes in the glasses category because I don't like to put them on for every outfit. But if I do ever have to settle, I do opt for these from Plum Bob Juice. I love all of these swatches. They're nice and thick and it just looks like very good glam. My number one that I opt for are these lashes from Catco. Like they look so gorgeous. I love that the little lashes are stuck together. Like they're very clustered. I don't know. I just really love these. They're super cute to me. I do have an underwear replacement for both male and female Sims. I love these so much. This set is originally from Serenity from their Lovebird collection and I have turned them to a default replacement. I just love this underwear so much. I have two different versions that you can download. This one is from Chow in their section of the Lovebird collection. And I just love this one so much too. I think it's so cute. For men, I also have a default underwear replacement and this one is from Joyce. I love these so much. I wanna say that these are the same underwear that came with the Sentiments collection. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know. I don't have the pack and I don't remember off the top of my head, but you don't need the pack to have this default replacement, which I love. If you take a gander at Dawn's dogs down here, you'll notice that they are way more detailed and that's because I do have a feet replacement for all of my male Sims. I recently found this one and I have been in love ever since. My pet peeve with feet replacements is that when you wear socks, they turn into toe socks and it's so annoying to look at. Like, oh, I don't know. I just don't find that sexy. I just, I can't. What makes this foot replacement so amazing is that there's actually shoes that you can put on and when you put them on, they'll turn your feet back into regular socks. So <laughs> I love that so much. Like that was highly needed because a lot of my male Sims will wear like slides and socks, you know? And I just don't want them to be rocking some toe socks in their slides. Like <laughs> it just looks crazy. For my female Sims, I also do have a feet replacement and this one is from Dissia. They also created their own toenail polish which looks really good on these feet as well. 
And the very last default replacement I want to showcase is this one for the infant prop. This one is from Simbies and I think it is so freaking cute. I was on the hunt for a printed pattern one, but I wanted it to be more unisex and I feel like this one is just perfect. Okay, next I'm going to go into all of my default replacements in game and I'm going to start with my infant default replacements. Oh, and before I continue, I do want to mention that you can only have one default replacement or override for a certain item in your game. If you put multiple for the same items, they're not going to work. Okay, so the first default replacement for infants I want to talk about today is the rug. Oh, just look at it. I think it's so freaking gorgeous. I love it. All of these swatches are so freaking cute. They did such a great job at choosing the colors. This next one is an override for the toys that the infants play with when they're in the playmat. Originally, it's a green color and it just annoys me so much that The Sims literally make everything in this damn game green. I took it into my own hands to change it to a cute nude color and I feel like that works for both girls and boys and it looks good with my gameplay. I also have a default replacement for the bathtub that the infants use. This one is also from Simbies. There is a ton of colors to choose from but I really love the gray hearts. It's kind of like under the water because I have my bathtub on a platform and I noticed that it kind of like glitches out when your bathtub is on a platform, but <laughs> just picture it above the water, okay? This pairs perfectly with this default replacement from Channel 4 Sims for the rubber ducky. Like, you can't tell me this ducky doesn't look so freaking adorable. And the last default replacement I have for my infants is this bottle replacement from Sixum CC. And bro, this is literally the cutest bottle replacement I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, <laughs> it's so cute. Look at the little stickers. Mm -mm. Don walked in here talking about why is there laundry on the floor? Uh, because you don't help me out around here. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, let me go into all of my default replacements for my adult Sims. The first one I wanna mention since it's already there is this laundry override that I have created. So here are some of the swatches. There's a white, a tan, and then a brown color. I just wanted them to look really neutral. And if your Sims hygiene is low when they change clothes, the clothes will come out dirty. So like this one, the shirt has grease on it. The socks are crusty. And this one is real filthy. It has the green smoke coming off of it and yes those socks have been through it he was playing some football and those socks are something with no shoes on <laughs> but yeah the recolor it's not perfect i did what i could with ea's mesh because i am not very educated in blender and i'm still learning how to make my own meshes and things of that sort but my biased opinion is that these are better than ea's swatches and i haven't seen anyone create more neutral swatches for the laundry so if that's what you're interested in definitely download okay i'm gonna have don start picking up this laundry let me add this to the wash machine and you can see that the bag for the swatch is also different as well I made the coloring for the bag more of a cream shade. And then if you pick up some dirty clothes, it will also change the bag as well. So go ahead and pick that up, Dawn. And oof, yes, the bag is dirty. But I think it looks, you know, realistic. I like it. Dawn just finished the laundry. And as you can see, this is the new swatch for the folded laundry. This is also a default replacement that I created. And there are three different swatches, but I just don't feel like doing all of the laundry so I can show you all the swatches, but they're posted on my download link post. Okay, next I do have a few different overrides for the vanity. So I'm gonna have to take them over here and let's apply some makeup. All right, so first is the eyeliner pencil. This is a default replacement from QMBB. It is a completely new mesh, so it just looks like a black eyeliner pencil instead of that big chunky thing that we had originally. Next is the chapstick tube. This is a default replacement that I I recolored. I changed it so the purple label is not on there anymore and the tube is just white. This next one is the blush palette override. Thank you so much to QMBB for allowing me to recolor your mesh. QMBB actually created this mesh so it could be for the Juvia's Place blush palette and I love that idea. I freaking love that blush palette so much. I use it in real life literally all the time but for my gameplay I really like neutral colors so I wanted the packaging to be black so I decided to to change it to a Morphe palette instead. I really love my game having Simlish in it, so I put Morphe and Simlish at the front. And on the inside, it has the little M in Simlish and it says hashtag Morphe babe in Simlish. 
Again, this is another mesh from QMBB. Thank you so much for allowing me to recolor this. She created a MAC lipstick override. Like I said, I don't like having English in my game, so I removed the MAC label and I changed the shade of the lipstick to be more of a nudie pink color. And the very last override that I did for the vanity is this nail file. I just simply removed the pink side of the nail file and made it both black on both sides. So this is the other side of the nail file. Like I said, I don't like having lots of bright colors in my game. I wanted it to be neutral, so I just made it black. This next override is the iPhone replacement. I love this one so much. This is my favorite phone replacement I have ever added into my game. Literally, look at this. This is why it's my favorite. She's sending a text message and the screen actually changes to show that she is showing a text message. And look at this one. Now she's searching on Google. Like it's so freaking cute. Negative 10 points for it not being in Simlish, but beggars cannot be choosers. And with this override, you can actually change the phone color cover to these custom covers, which is so freaking cute. I love customizing my Sims phone case to match their personality. Like it just gives a little special touch, you know? Right now she just has the solid black case, but I'm gonna change it to this checkerboard so we can see what it looks like. Like how cute is that? I love it. I love it so much. And what's also really cool is there are custom background colors for the phone. So you can change your phone color UI to be one of these custom ones. And I think they're all really cute. This next override is the AirPods override by Neri Botsol. I already have some in my inventory, but you can purchase them from the computer if you don't have any. You're just gonna click on the computer and then go to order. And then you'll see purchase earbuds. It says Tay already has some in her inventory, but you can click purchase earbuds if you don't have any and then choose what color you want. I love these so much. They did such a good job with creating the mesh to make it look exactly like the AirPods. There is also a default replacement for AirPod Maxes instead of the little earbuds, but since you can only keep one default replacement in your game, I use the earbuds as my default replacement, and then I use the AirPod Maxes as an accessory in cast. All right, the last default replacement I have for adults is this razor replacement that I created. There are eight different colors that you can choose from. Be sure to only put one in your mods folder though. My sim is currently using the white razor. I don't have it on the table here because I was going to show it while she was using it, but too many people got triggered on TikTok from looking at the shaving cream. <laughs> so, okay, I feel like this angle isn't too bad. So this is basically the white razor, okay? Now I'm gonna go into all of the default replacements for my home. And the very first one is this ceiling replacement. I love it so freaking much. I love the little texture on it. I know that with the recent update, we can put our own ceiling tiles up there, but I like this to be my default ceiling when I don't have any ceiling tiles, you know? Next, I have this default replacement for the TV remote. I love that it's in Simlish. Look at that. Love that. It's so freaking cute. I also have a default replacement from Simmerwell Pupper that changes the gaming controller into a PS5 controller. They also created the entire PS5 that's functional, the controller and charging dock as decor, and the whole PS5 box. Like this is so freaking cute. I would love to use this as decor during Christmas time. You know, my man about to get a PS5 this Christmas. And I love this touch so much. When you click on the PS5 and you go to the PS5 game, there are overrides for the game. So you can play The Devil May Cry or The Last of Us, and if your gaming skill is high enough, you can also play Spider-Man and God of War. And look how high quality this controller is. I'm cheating so hard because it just looks so good. I love the little details that this adds to my game, you know? Oh, and here she is playing The Last of Us. She pressing those buttons real hard. Girl, you are still in the setup. You haven't even started the game yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, there she go. You see it, you see it. This is amazing. I freaking love this so much. <laughs> I have two really great replacements for your coffee machine. The first one is this default replacement for the coffee bag by Channel 4 Sims. Okay, the next one I wanna show you is a default replacement for the actual coffee. Look how cute that is. The little design in the coffee. Ah, I love this. This is from Anna Chibi and there are six different designs to choose from. I really love the heart. I don't know, it's so freaking cute. The next override I wanna show you is this cutting board replacement by Channel 4 Sims. Literally Channel 4 Sims 
is the plug when it comes to default replacements. They have so many good ones. I actually have a few different overrides for the food in my game and all of these overrides are from the creator Apricot Rush. First of all, y'all, just look how good the cereal looks. The little Lucky Charms. Oh, and the animal crackers. Like, I love all of these so much. I also have a default replacement for the soda can that you get from the fridge, and this is from Yandy CC. There's two different versions. There's the Maxis style version, and then there's one that's in English. And obviously, you know which one I chose. I also have a utensil override, which is from Somic and Servinka, and it just makes your utensils look so much more realistic. This next override is a default replacement for the robot vacuum that you get with the cats and dogs pack. There are so many different swatches to choose from and I just feel like this one looks way more like a Roomba. Next is a default replacement for the cleaning spray. This one clearly shows that it's for cleaning because before this it was kind of like, uh, what is she spraying? Is that Raid? Is that bleach? Sis, I don't even know. Next, I have this default replacement that I created and it is for the mop. I only did one color because I wanted it just to be black and silver. The next couple of mods are going to be for your pets and this next one is a replacement for the carrier that you get when you're adopting a pet. This one honestly is very unnecessary but I was just annoyed when I went to adopt a pet and it was just like so brightly colored and it just didn't look good so I made it more aesthetically pleasing. All right the adoption lady is here and I picked up two dogs to see <laughs> who I wanted to get to show you this next override. This one came over in a little business suit. I don't know if he's here to do my taxes or to be adopted. <laughs> I'm confused. And this one, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, I just feel like his head is too small for his body. <laughs> it's giving that episode of SpongeBob where he removed the guy's head. <laughs> And he was like, everyone at the head enhancement clinic said they wouldn't notice. <laughs> All right, I decided to go with Mr. Smallhead because he does have a very glamorous collar. So that was extra points in my book. The next default replacement that I created is this override to make the leash white. Oh, this is so cute though. Now I want a dog like, oh, look at his little paws, Oh. Well, a dog is a lot of responsibility, Tay. You're not ready for it. Okay, thank you for talking me out of it. Okay. It's fall time in my game, but for some reason, none of the trees on my lot <laughs> have turned yellow and I don't have any leaves falling. I don't know if like we don't get leaves falling in Delso Valley or what, <laughs> but it's okay. I just went into the debug and I found these items so I can show them for you. I have created a default replacement for the rake to rake up your leaves and also the snow shovel for both adults and children. I only did one swatch because I was like, I mean, I feel like if we just make it black, that would be like ideal for everyone. <laughs> so uh, that's what I did. All right, the very last section of overrides that I'll be showcasing is for the world. And this very first one is a cloud replacement by Miko. As you can see, the clouds just look so much more detailed. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I mostly have my game as sunny because I like the sun to be nice and bright. I love the summertime, but if it's ever cloudy, I'm not gonna hate to see the sky looking like this, you know, it looks cute. This next mod is a billboard override from Sims Twink. This is such a cute idea. And y'all look at this. If you're a fan of Ashley Plays, you know that this is Mimi from her Let's Play series. Like this is such a little cute touch to add into your game. Literally every billboard is serving looks, honey. This next mod is an override that I refuse to ever remove from my game. And this is the default vehicle replacements by Black Life Sims. There's a ton of different swatches of the cars, but I'm not gonna sit here all day to record cars for you. I'm just not, I promise. The creator does have a password on the download file, so be sure to unzip the folder and then enter the password and then move it into your mods folder. The very last mod I'm going to showcase is this moon replacement from Yak Farm. The creator has made, I believe, eight different colors of moons that you can choose from. I have the white moon in my game and it's just so gorgeous. It's so detailed. This is another mod that I refuse to ever <laughs> remove from my game. I love it. The moon is out and that means it's nighttime and Tay and Dawn are now finished with their day. They met with their wedding planner and it was a success and now they're hiring her on. Now look at them. They're just canoodling here before bed. See, this is why Tay keeps running back to Dawn because look at that little tongue, he a freak. 
Well, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.